My eyes are on fire. fire. I have this thing where I continuously try to be like a super cool YouTuber and try really cool things. And then I just, I do, I, I, what is it? Bite, bite off more than you can chew or whatever it is. I don't know the quote. So I bought myself this palette, the Makeup Revolution uh, Jack palette, Nightmare Before Christmas, Beautimus. And I kept putting it off like, talking about it because I wanted to, oh, hello, Bofer. You know what? Every time I start talking, he comes up to say hello. If you're going to say hello, you got to actually say hello. Okay, good boy. So before I went and used it, I wanted, I was like, I'm going to do a really cool in-depth swatch video and like swatch every shade onto my eyelids. And um, I started out that way, but then it started to, you know, having to wipe it off every time burn my eyelids and so I was just like I'm just gonna do two little looks on my eyelids and um, and maybe I'll swatch a few of the other ones that are down here at the bottom that I didn't do but anyway here look at it oh fantastic it's beautiful I struggle a lot of the times with buying things for myself I like to save money and um, I don't remember how long ago it was but I had bought myself a bunch of palettes finally and then these popped up and I was very upset because I love Nightmare Before Christmas, but I was at, I was back at the point where I was telling myself, no, you don't need things. And then when I finally decided, you know what, I'll go ahead and do it. Like if I'm gonna, if I'm gonna splurge on something, why not make it this kind of thing that I actually love, you know what I'm saying? But then it went out of stock. I am, I am tired of limited edition things. Can I complain about that for a second? Can we just stop that? Like, I get only making a few things at a time, but like, let's let's continue to make things if, it, if people are showing interest. I, I know there's a whole business process that I don't know about. It's fine, I'm just gonna complain about it. But anyway, I started out doing every single one, like I said, and I think I got to about the shade Love, which is this really pretty, like sparkly pinkish color. And then that's when I kinda stopped and I started putting multiple colors on my eyes. I have this problem where my eyelid, there's a spot on my right eyelid that won't, it, it doesn't look as bad in person, but for some reason when I'm putting eyeshadow on, the camera just makes it stand out so much more that there's this spot that color won't stick to on my skin. I don't know what that is. Does anybody else have that problem? Every single eyeshadow, I was like, what, what is going on here? So when I started to do the little, the looks that I did, I started with a blue one and I, I put the color Dead of Night, which is just a, I don't even know how to describe it. It's just really pretty, deep, sparkly blue, absolutely stunning color. I put that all over my lid and then I took the color Mischief and I mixed that in. Uh, around it i did like a like a i don't know how to describe that a winged out like i have a hard time with blue eyeshadow but i feel like this came out so well and then on the other eye i did like a purple and green i really wanted to use some green i was gonna do all green but i felt like it was too similar to the blue i put the purple color madness all over my eyelid and then i blended it out with you know the green oogie's lair and everybody scream that's the other fun thing about this palette is all of the names are just like, they are the movie. Like, we've got this green down here that's Oogie Boogie, and I don't know what Behemoth is. I feel like I'm forgetting something, but this light blue color that actually makes me think of Sally isn't the Sally color. It's Sally is up here. It's just light sparkly blue. Oogie's Lair, Bugs, Master of Fright, Sandy Claws, Pumpkin Song, Lock Shock Barrel, like cute freaking names. I've also uh, realized that I need to suck it up and go back to see an eye doctor because um, I've always complained about not being very good at eyeshadow, but I'm even worse when I'm putting eyeshadow on my left eye because I have to close that eye to put it on and this eye can't see. I mean, it, it's not blind, but I've got a slight astigmatism in my right eye and so if I cover up this, I just don't know what's going on. And so I'm like trying to put eyeshadow on it like this so I can keep the eye open so I can see what I'm doing. It's very frustrating. <sighs> yeah. Anyway, back to the palette. I feel like this blue is gonna stain my eyelid 
for sure definitely gonna stain my eyelid a lot of these colors they're very pigmented i'm 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 very pleased i didn't think i was going to be upset by any of them the colors like mayor and bones perfect little blendy colors you know for my skin tone at least and I, I picked the Jack palette specifically because you've got one side that's got more neutrals and then the other side is more colorful. But the thing I was noticing on the website and on their Facebook and stuff and when they're, they're sharing pictures of it, they've got this picture like next to the Sally box. So the box that's the Sally palette that has Sally on the front and next to the Jack palette, they have the other one. And looking at this, because it's got all the blues in it, my brain said, this is the Sally palette. It's got all the blues in it, but it's not. And so I just, I just wanted to put that out there. If this is even still available, be careful which one you're picking. If you want the one with the blues in it, it's the Jack palette, not the Sally palette. The pictures and the names are a little misleading, but that's not that big of a deal, especially if you're going to get both of them. So I half splurged. I, I bought just the one palette and I didn't like buy every single thing. I feel like I would be upset with myself if I bought every single thing, but I got something. I got the Nightmare Before Christmas palette. I got the Jack palette and I'm happy. And now I get to do all these fun looks, you know, with my eyeballs. I feel like this video was all over the place. I tried to be cool with swatches and doing makeup looks, but anyway, I'm gonna go. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye-bye.